In this video, we're going to be talking about me getting the Navy Federal Go Prepaid card. And so what you want to do is go over to the Navy Federal site, go under checking and savings, and then go on prepaid and gift cards. That's going to take you to the next site. And then you're going to go and click on get a card. And this is going to take you to a separate Navy Federal Gold prepaid site. And then here is where you're going to want to do get a card, click on get a card. And then you're going to have to create a profile. So it's going to be things like your name, your phone number, your email address, your personal address. Then you're going to have to put are you going to put your identification in here? Also, you're going to have to create a username and a password, and you're going to have to do a security question and answer. So here is where you want to put in all of that personal information just to get started on creating your profile. And then that's where it's going to take you to funding the account. And I want to let you know later in the video, because you can see here, it has my Visa and it has my MasterCard. And I'm actually going to fund this account with my Navy Federal Cash Rewards card. And so you just want to click which card do you want. And so I want to use my, my MasterCard and you're just going to have to put in your card number. You're going to have to put in all of that information, a three digit security code, the billing information. So that's just going to be your address, all of that info. Then it's just going to come giving you information about the terms and condition related to the Navy Federal Gold Prepaid card. So right now it's not going to be a monthly fee. There is no purchase fee. And if you go to the ATM, there is no fee unless you go out of network. But if you do a cash reload, it is going to be $5.95 to do that. So it just has a lot of information right there. And basically, you just have to end up agreeing to the terms and conditions related to the Navy Federal Go prepaid card. So that's pretty simple. So then when you go to the next page, it's just going to have you submit that you're going to be using your, um, you know, the credit card that you picked. And it is so easy. And so next, what you're going to do is going to take you to the card holder overview. And here is where you're going to want to get a card for the card holder. And so you're just going to click on that link and then it's going to take you to the next page. And is this card going to be for you or is it going to be for someone else? And so this card is going to be for me. And then you get to pick the design of your card. So, I mean, they have some pretty cool options, but I thought, okay, I really like the pink. So I decided that I'm going to get the pink card. And so that's what I ended up selecting. Next you when you come to this screen so you're just going to want to make sure okay how much is your initial amount going to be so i had originally put 170 dollars on here and it's telling you that there's not going to be any purchase fee on here and so you know how do you want this ship do you want it shipped in standard mail or do you want this ship express mail <laughs> so i was pretty much okay with just doing the express mail and um so that i didn't have to pay anything and then i wanted to make sure that i got a copy of my enrollment notice to my email so you can do that but in the payment information so as you can see right here under the payment method it doesn't have a what card that i pick so it just has this blue box with a check on there so really you have to remember that you use which card did you use so i know that i use my cash rewards credit card and so i need to make sure to put that security number in there so i was kind of messing up on that part since it didn't have the card but since i knew that that's the card that i picked so that makes a little bit more sense and then also you want to make sure because i had kind of messed up here because see i had 170 dollars in an account in my navy federal that i just wanted to move over here to my Navy Federal Gold prepaid card. So that's why I had put $170 in there, but you really have to put even, so it has to be like 140, 150, you know, like that. So I had got an error message on that one. 
So then once I had finally got it all correct, it's just letting me know, okay, review all of the information. So I'm, I'm just going to do it in standard mail. So that's going to be free, no uh, purchase fee. And then there's um, the one time initial low is zero. So the initial amount is going to be $140 and I picked the pink card. And so it's just letting you know that, you know, all the information. So it's pretty cool and it's pretty easy. It didn't take me that long to do. And so then we're going to come over here and you can see on my Navy Federal Cash Rewards card, it is a MasterCard. And you can see that it is actually pending $140. And so I'm really just wanting to make sure, okay, is this going to be a cash advance or not? As of right now, you can see that my availability of cash advance is $4,320 and it didn't change. So as of right now, it's not showing that it's a cash advance, but it is still pending. So I'm going to let it post because this is actually the next day and it still hadn't posted. And that's the one thing about Navy Federal. It just seemed like it takes so long for the, uh, when you, you know, make a charge on your credit card and your, your checking account, it just takes so long for them to post all of their transactions. And so I was just like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to have to wait until it posts. And then once it posts, I will let you know, is it going to charge me any kind of interest or any kind of cash advance fee because the main thing for me is that i don't want to pay a cash advance so technically i could go ahead and pay it off and then just have a credit on the account until it posts but i said i was going to wait to see what's happened so i will put that in another video but let me know in the comments are you going to get the navy federal go prepaid card and i think it's pretty good especially for those items where it has to have a visa debit and that's what it's going to have on the prepaid go card for items where you can't pay with uh, your credit card. So let me know in the comments. Are you going to get it? Check out this video where I was talking about five credit cards that you could possibly do a balance transfer on up to 21 months so that it can help you pay down debt fast. It's not a game. It's a rich thing.